there are two things that people always say when talking about Iceland. One, it's beautiful. And two, it's expensive. Well, that's less a lot. Expensive. Yeah. Like, the amount that came up on the till was a lot. I, I think spent. it's like 120 quid. <laughs> oh no. Well, I really like beautiful things, and the latter sounds a bit like a challenge to me. So, should we do it, James? We've just landed in Iceland, and we're gonna try and do six nights for 600 pounds, including flights, accommodation, car hire, and that's a four by four. Petrol, food, drink, activities, everything. So far, everyone's kind of laughed at me when I've said this, so I think it's definitely doable. We better not be crap where we're staying. Not I mean, camping. We're not camping, but I haven't. It's cold. Don't rule out a hostel, James. That's what I'm saying. I'm not staying in a hostel. You are staying in a hostel. But before we get cracking, make sure you hit subscribe because I'm going to be vlogging the entire trip. But first, let's talk costs. The flight. And because we're here during the winter, we have had to get a bag full of jumpers and a few things that are definitely going to save us a lot of money. Mm -hmm. Next, we are going to the supermarket, but to get there, what do we need, James? A car. We do need a car. This is the most efficient place in the world. It's been like four minutes now since we got off the plane. The most efficient experience Ever. I want to tell you a little bit about the car hire actually and how much it costs. However, we've got 30 minutes before the supermarket closes. So yeah, let's get, get a bloody wiggle a on. Blood, a bloody wiggle on. Do they drive on the left or the right? Oh god. The right. <laughs> <laughs> we went the wrong way. But the car hire place was down there. And keep going straight, James. Look, there's the supermarket. There's the supermarket. This weather. Oh my god. We're here on holiday. Le supermarché. Right, we've got half an hour. Are you ready to get some cheap food? Well, as cheap as we possibly can. Let's go. Netto is one of the three cheaper supermarkets in Iceland. It's not the cheapest bonuses, however, it's got really crap opening hours. Netto is still open and there's a bigger selection. So, I've got a list that is not on my list. Put it one down, James. It's not bad. Maybe this isn't going to be so bad after all. This stuff? This cheese is very expensive, apparently. Oh, so that's like three, yeah. three pounds. Yogurt. That's, well, that's a expensive. lot. Yeah. Alright, let's get some strawberries. It was a blur, I think with the time constraint. Uh, we got very excited and we could have literally blown so much money just then, James. Like the amount that came up on the till was a lot. It was a lot. I have no idea. We I could have spent 40p or 800 pounds. Right, James, it's time to see what the damage was. All I know is that it had a lot of digits. Uh, what do you think it was? Well, I thought it was really okay priced individually. And then I saw that number and I shat my pants. I, I think spent... it's like 120 quid. Whoa. Oh no. 
we spent 257 pounds. Really? 57 spiff. 57 I think that's biff. okay. Don't get me wrong, we didn't get loads, but we've got a fa we've got a decent amount there. Great. Great, great, great. Right. Iceland! We've got, we've got a two-hour yes. drive now. We have, we have. Oh, but before we drive, can we just have a quick moment about the car? Let me pop you here whilst I talk car hire. Back in the UK, I've always used Skyscanner. However, I quickly realized that it was coming out with all the big names, Hertz, Sixth, but it wasn't coming out with any local companies. So I did some Googling. I found Northbound, which is an Icelandic broker, and they just consistently came up with cheaper prices. What you need to know is that if you're traveling in the winter like we are, you're probably going to need a 4x4. This is not the time to scrimp on a Fiat 500. James would have bloody killed me yep. as well. There are roads known as F roads, which you actually physically cannot go on if you are not in a certain type of car. Northbound lets you tick a box to make sure that you're searching those. All the cars on that website are fitted with winter tires during the winter months, which is great news for us because the weather doesn't look too hot this week, to say the least. The cheapest 4x4 I found was this much, which I thought was a really good deal for six whole days of travel. We absolutely lucked out because Northbound upgraded us to a, how do you say it, is it Dacia? Dacia? I think it's Dacia Duster. Oh, Dacia, a Dacia Duster. So that's my top tip. Definitely take a look at local hire car companies. Don't just rely on the ones that you're used to using in the UK. Right, we've got our food. Let's get on the road. We're about a two hour journey from where we're staying tonight. We are on a budget, so. You better be decent. So, let's wait to see what it's like. Onwards! There it is. Oh my god. Whoa! I will explain more about how I got this incredible place and how it's totally within budget in the next video. But for now, we're both a bit knackered. So we're gonna to go to bed. Thank you for watching. Please do like, subscribe, comment. And yeah, I will see you for the next video about Iceland where I show you the house and we go around the golden circle. Good night. Shall we see what that view looks like? Should I tell everybody how they can stay here for really, really cheap? Perfect. Yes. Perfect. Perfect. She's so bloody happy, mate! You've missed it. If you haven't, if you haven't taken it by now, you've missed it. Idiots.